Tonight, the state's parole board is considering an admitted killer's request to be released from prison. It's a case that goes back decades and involves a murder prosecutors say was a ritualistic killing by a cult. Eyewitness News reporter Julianne Pixoto is live in studio now with the details that are new at 5. Shannon, today, nearly four decades after the crime was committed, the victim's family had to relive her horrific murder. 37 years after pleading guilty to second degree murder, 54 year old Robin Murphy wants her freedom. I'd like to begin by apologizing to Ms. Monson's family for putting them through this once again. I feel that um, I am a different person today, certainly than I was 17 at 17 years old. The Fall River woman was just a teenager when police say she brutally murdered Karen Marsden as part of a satanic cult's ritualistic sacrifice. The murder of Karen Marsden is by far the most gruesome and heinous murder that I have ever read about. Murphy was sentenced to life in prison with the possibility of parole and was released in 2004. However, she violated her parole and was back behind bars in 2011. It's clear that she's a pathological liar and that's an addiction. And that addiction hasn't gone away. I feel that uh, she should definitely not be released. In the years since she pleaded guilty, Murphy has gone back on what she initially said, denying any involvement with satanic cults and saying she had nothing to do with Marsden's death. We were lovers. I never saw Karen after the night I cheated on her, Sarah. During Tuesday's hearing, the parole board asked Murphy questions and witnesses testified. Robin Murphy should continue to remain incarcerated for her safety and the safety of the public. To think that someone I knew and had fun with was capable of doing such heinous things to other human beings, to friends. The only testimony in favor of Murphy's release was that of her attorney. Other people involved in this were all over 18. She was a child and a sexually exploited child at that with a significant trauma history. And I think that's important to note. I would ask that you consider her for release and give her the opportunity to prove to you that she can be a model parolee. And officials say it could take months to reach a decision on whether or not to release the convicted killer. I'm Julianne Pixoto, Eyewitness News.